Right, afternoon, guys. Um, just got back home from doing a little kind of a run around the old charity shops in the CEX. Um, went over the coin today. Uh, checked in at CEX in there. I did get some games from there today. And um, there's a new shop over there as well, which I found in the... Uh, in Croydon, I can't read what it's called. Play Nation Games. So there's a shop called Play Nation Games along the broad walk. You know, you get off where the trams are, and walk all out that kind of like orangey kind of brick road where no traffic is allowed. You know, Going past like McDonald's and that part, kind of area, uh, the big supermarket, super mall, all in that area. If you go straight up, you'll find this um, Planet Nation or Play Nation uh, games uh, shop. Picked a few games up out of there, not many, just three. Uh, one I'm actually installing at the moment, which is. Um, is it this one, Call of Duty? No, it's not that one. I'm installing the Call of Duty game at the moment, being this one, uh, which I got from CEX. Um, I can't remember that. Is that uh, no, actually, I think that's uh, Stratum, actually. Um, yeah, Stratum. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I picked up the SOCOM 3 US Navy SEALs PlayStation 3. Uh, that's in there. I don't know what a disc is like. Uh, it's bad. It's like CX actually scratched the buggery. So, um, yeah. Uh, hope this one works. Although it's really knackered out after giving it clean. Hopefully, that one will install. So I'm trying to get all the Call of Duty games on Xbox uh, installed on the Xbox One. Call of Duty 3 is actually installing at the moment. Uh, this is a Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter game. I'm not sure if I've seen this before, if I've already got it. But this going too bad on that one, but one out of three this is kind of okay. The other two are shit. Um... Mind you, 99p, probably why. So that's um, the second shop I went to. The first one I went to was um, CX in Croydon. And I bought mostly Xbox games in there, but I did buy one Xbox One game in there. So I bought one, two, three, four Xbox. No, five Xbox 360s, three PlayStation 2, and uh, an Xbox One. Um, so, Play, I, I can't remember if I got that or not, to be honest with you. Um, I was trying to find out what ones would be backward compatible with Xbox One. It did say Play was going to be one. I uh, didn't see a listing on that one. I actually went and bought another Battlefield 3. Don't know why I've got about five Battlefield trees. I just don't know why I keep picking them up. I don't know seriously. Um, I'm going to check the disc out on these later and see what ones you know better condition and keep that. Uh, Front knife feud of war and dead rising. I'm not sure if we got that or not. I can't remember. But that was 150 dead rising. Front line feud of war a pound. Battlefield 3, 50p. Play, 50p. And a Bionic Commando was £1.50. So that's those ones. Um, Star Wars Starfighter. I think I've only ever bought one Star Wars game on PlayStation 2 at the moment. So anyway, that was £1.50. Uh, I know these won't fit on the Xbox, but you know I'm going to get them on different uh, formats and 
collect them anyway. Uh, PlayStation 2, Call, Call of Duty, Big Red 1, which was £1, and Call of Duty, Finest Hour, uh, £1. And I had to go and do it because, you know, I've been looking on um, CD keys, you know, the ones where you can buy CD uh, programs, uh, you know, get a key code. Uh, you redeem them on your Xbox One, and you can actually then, after redeeming, download. But I, I actually want the physical games, you know. I, I find it a lot better to have the physical games. Call of Duty World War Two. So that's another place that, um, Xbox game. Uh, at the moment, I'll give you a shout out of what I have got on my piece uh, on my Xbox in a minute. So that's going to be installed late on tonight. Um, as I say, I'm installing um, Call of Duty Three on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty at the moment. Um, went to my main charity shop. And they didn't have banking today. But luckily enough, someone had just bought a load of stuff in. Not games, but I asked about the games. And I said, uh, no, I ain't got none in. He goes, oh, funny enough, I, I, you know, this guy who brings in stuff for the store, uh, he's going, you know what, I get loads of games like that. I said, do you? He goes, well, why don't you bring them in here? And the manager, you know, the manager was actually talking to him. He goes, yeah, you know, if you get them, bring them here because this this guy I buy him off me. I said, look, you know, if you can, please bring me now because I'm always interested in games. Um, I, I said to him, before I got married, I have thousands of games, mostly on 8-bit and stuff like that. Um, and I had to sell them all for, you know, my wedding. But now I want to start building my collection up again. Uh, more, not so much the old 8-bit stuff, but, you know, the console kind of stuff. He goes, yeah, every time, anytime I get my saving, I'll, I'll bring them up here because like, sometimes he doesn't know where to send them. I said, well, bring them here, because I'll always have them. You know, I don't care. It's 10, 20, 30, you know, I'll have them, and I will have them, because I know that the choke shop usually lets me have them 50p each anyway, so that's a pretty good deal. I've even bought kind of Xbox One games in there for 50p, and some PlayStation 4 games for 50p. Not that the ones I play, you know, like the Fever games, but you know, I'll come away to, like, swap them, trade them, or sell them, and try to get a little bit of money. And if I do sell them and make a little bit of money, I can always then buy more games out of the money I'll actually sell the games for, if you see what I mean. So the only one he had today, he had this one there the other day when I went in. I said, look, you've only got one. It's not worth me picking up the one. Leave it there. Not coming again in a couple of days' time. And he said, all right. But well, anyway, I went in there. And all they had was still the same game, uh, Pers Prince of Persia, which I think I've got i'm not sure but that just a bit scratched up and two psp movies and he goes oh i didn't know you like those i said oh yeah i said no you know i've got psp you know games and movies i clicked on that and you know i am actually collecting these for myself now i'm not actually gonna collect them and sell them unless i get like duplicate copies but i'm trying to like um get some movies and games from a psp <clears throat> so they was all 50p each, £1.50 in total. Um, I went into another church shop. They had none in there. But I did pick up three box sets. For, and this was three for a pound. She goes, it doesn't matter if it's got one disc or five disc in, you know, it's still 50p, uh, three for a pound. I thought, well, okay. So I actually bought some box sets the other day for a month. Uh, this one is uh, Claude Chuck. Chamblow, or whatever it's called, I can't even pronounce it myself. I think it might be French. If anyone can read that, I think it's a French movie, French kind of um, series, I don't know. But this was in Gift Aid anyway. Uh, I picked up a box set of, uh, it's got Danny's Peak, Twister, and Deep Impact. Two of those movies I do like, Twister and Deep Impact. Dentist Peak, I don't think I've really bothered watching before, but I might watch it sometime. When I saw this one, my eyes lit up. Because I'd love to get you westerns, especially the ones with um, Lee Van Cliff and, you know, um, 
What's his name? Clint Eastwood. Well, I can't think of the other name. The uh, the one who's in some of the um, movies. The Mexican guy. But one, two, three, four, five, six discs in here. So I'm happy with this. This will be kept. And I will keep this and put it in my collection. God, I do love the uh, movies, you know, especially these movies. So that I'm keeping. The Spaghetti Western Collection. This for the dollars, few dollars more, and good, bad, and the ugly. So I think it's the movie. And then, like, you've got us, like, three movies and three, like, um, this with special effects and, you know, and all that kind of stuff, I suppose. But I don't know why it's got six discs in there, but that will be kept anyway. Um, went into the other CX over at Streatham, uh, picked up two. So, yeah, uh, that one's been installed at the moment. And I won't show you if I've got that, but I know I've got it because it's actually installed on my Xbox already. So I think I've got this about three or four times. I, I just don't know. I can't sometimes concentrate. Like I was looking in, in the new uh, game section and I started feeling a bit kind of like nausea and a bit dizzy. And no, I don't mean I've got the virus or anything. I just felt like so bloody tired today. Uh, and it was raining and cold out as well. Um, the only thing that I was a little bit annoyed about was um, I went into, what was it called, um, British Red Cross. And the big one, they said, no, there's a store up there. They do games and books and DVDs and stuff like that. Five minute walk. So I walked up there yeah, and I saw Gears of War and I saw Fire Cry. And I thought, yeah, I want that one. I want that one. And I thought, Gears of War, you know, three quid. Might as well pick it up as well. So um, I checked that box, but I didn't check that box. Empty box. Just got the manual. So I'm a bit peeved with that because that cost me two quid. But um, when I go out the next time, I will walk up to uh, British Red Cross and say, look, you know, I picked this up the other day and you want no disc. Can't just swap it over, or I might just not bother. Um, you know, they had a few games in there, but most of them I had anyway. No one's going to keep getting duplicates all the time. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, because I wanted to try to get Far Cry, then Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3. I know they got 4 and 5, which I'll probably get a bit later anyway, but I've not even played 1, 2, and 3 yet. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I've got today. I didn't get mini games. So I'm not sure what they were. So I'm not going to bother sitting here and, you know, scanning through them. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, after that one's installed, um, I'm not going to install that one a day. But I still need to get, you know, I think I've got some Gear, Gears of War games already, but, you know, Gears of War don't really kind of like tickle my fancy kind of thing you know it's just kind of a game that I've, I think I played Gears of War once and I didn't really go much on that to be honest with you but um, if I'm pick up cheap you know 50p or a pound then I might you know just try to get a collection just for the sake of having a collection and then stick them on the shelf and if I ever decide to have a game with them later then I will do um, but yeah I've got that one uh, and the Call of Duty. So that's two Call of Duties I've got. I've got to see if I can get that one installed. No, actually, I've got four. Anyway. No, two. What's the one over there? Oh, no, PlayStation 1, so they won't go on the Xbox. So I've got four Call of Duty games. Two up, two Xbox. So that's Call of Duty Red One, Call of Duty Finest Era, Call of Duty 
finds out on Xbox. So really, I got the game twice, but one on different console. So, um, let's say I'm installing that one at the moment. I was about going to install that one first, but when I opened the box, I want one in there. I'm sure the woman opened it. She took long enough to, to you know, cash up two games, being that one and that one. Unless she stood there, you know, putting the code, key code in, which was a bit weird. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'll probably go out there and complain about it. You know, I'll just keep the case and, you know, the book. So, um, so I'm kind of like a little bit muddled up right now. So I can't remember if I got play or not, but I know I've got Battlefield 3. Why I picked up no copy of Battlefield 3, I don't know. Maybe I picked up just to round off the costing, you know, like the first CEX I went to. Um, but yeah. Bit, 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 a little bit peed about that. Still never mind. Um, at least I've got two more Xbox One games to add to my collection. Um, I was looking at the cost of these online. Um, I was going to order it actually, but um, on eBay. So a new copy of these, you know, you're talking about new other £12.60, 15 dollars 90, brand new, um, pre-owned, $8.99, all different prices, nine ninety four. dollars um, there's bids, £4.20, £9.39, £12.99, load of like, you know, bidding wars on at the moment, um, Brand new fourteen ninety nine. Now, all you know, there's so many game, so many copies of these on there. Um, the thing is, I didn't want to be buying it and waiting. Um, although I've actually bought a few games, and I'm still waiting for them. Um, the ones I've actually ordered off eBay are. Let's go to my eBay account. I don't to, sometimes I don't take my password for some reason. So what I've ordered on eBay is Battlefield 5, Battlefield Hardcore. These are on Xbox Ones. Um, I could have got Hard 9 today for um, £4, I think it was, 4 50 But um, I've already ordered it for £3.12 on eBay. Uh, the Evil Within I got yesterday, and I've already installed that, I think. Um, it's more like a zombie game, I believe that one is. Star Wars Battlefront, I ordered, but when I got this Xbox One, it's already kind of like in the game section, saying it's already owned. So what I had to do was click on it and it downloaded it, but I, I still want to get, like, you know, hard copies. Um, so if any time your hard drive suddenly goes down, I lose what's on the hard drive. Um, you know, I've only downloaded a couple with uh, CD keys at the moment. Uh, I've got this. Uh, what's it called? CD key, CD serials, I think it's called. I've downloaded a couple of games from there. You know, just bought the the key code, redeemed the key code on Xbox One, and that allows you to actually download the full game. So I've actually ordered a few off CD keys, but most of the games are like, um, which I've installed are like hard copies. I know it sometimes takes a lot longer to install a game than actually download it, but the other night I was downloading the game, 
and it took hours for it to download. But I've ordered um, Infinity Warfare, which I've already got and installed. Um, and that's on PC. But I've all, actually ordered it on Xbox now. Um, although I've got it on the Xbox console. I can't remember if I've actually got it down uh, on... I mean, it's not just come up on my Xbox. Would you like to knock the app? I, I, I actually actually do do a, um, an update yesterday, and I'm getting all these weird things popping up on my screen now, which I never used to. So anyway, I like to get the hard copies, because if the hard drive does go down, I don't have to keep searching for all the CD keys on my emails. Um, as I say, I, I did order um, a CD key game the other day, and it took bloody ages for it to download and install. Um, and I'm talking about how long some games will take. I picked up a few copies of Call of Duty Infinite War. And, you know, I, I've got a few to sell if anyone's interested. Uh, they new, they are brand new, just that brand new open with no CD code. Um, I've actually installed this on my uh, PC and I had to all go to CD keys and get a key code for it so I can actually install it. This took over six hours to install on my PC, would you believe? Over six hours. I, I thought it was never going to like stop. Um, you know, people were selling these on eBay for about 10 12 pound pre owned. So, even if you buy one pre owned, you still need to get a key code for it. Yeah, brand new, boxed, um, sealed. I think about 30 odd quid. I think. Let me have a look. Cool. Right, so at the moment, um, CD key, the actual key, no disc, £15.95. Um, and these are download keys from, you know, like eBay, key to Steam. Um, there is one on there, new unsealed, no code. So it's similar to this one, new, no code. Um, brand new, sealed, uh, 20 pound. Um, new and sealed, 12 pound 50. So there's a few people who actually got a couple on them now. But when I looked the other day, there weren't none on there. Uh, I think okay. I got the Infinite Warfare and uh, Modern Warfare in one kind of this set for £36. Um, £34. Brand new from Spain, £20. £20. So you don't you ain't gonna get a lot of these brand new sealed ones on eBay at the moment. Most of them are being sold as like pre-owned or new opened with that key code. Now <clears throat> when I bought my one, it stated new open. Um, you know, all of this were brand new, but it had no key code. So, you know, I still had to buy the key code to install the game. Um, yeah, I could have gone through Steam and installed it. It might took a bit quicker, I don't know. But um, six DV, six discs this takes. Oh. 
one <laughs> show my camera. So I'm not cheating. You think I'm faking it. So that's to six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and you've got to install all six discs. Yeah, so I've got a couple of these. Um, I bought one from one guy. Um, I was happy with it because it was practically, well, it was brand new, brand new. I just had to get the key photos from CD keys. Um, then he said, if you want any more, I can do your deal. So I bought a few extra, um, more like for trade wise, or, you know, if I can sell them and make a little bit of money out of them, you know, get some for about eight quid or something, you know. Um, after my fees, I'll be lucky to get about fiver, and that fiver can go on, you know, me uh, buying on some more games. But I've got several copies of these, which I'll uh, either list or uh, put in mystery boxes, or see if anyone wants to trade, you know, game to game or something. So, I want so many I've got, but I've got a few there. Um, I actually got this hard drive from the car boot fair the other week and I can't find a power supply to fit anywhere here. Yeah? So I bought a power supply off eBay and it comes with these like special adapters here. Yeah? I don't know what's wrong with it, but this does not power anything. I've tried powering up like four or five different devices and it just does not power anything so i've just had to put a um, return on this one and normally these are pretty good because i do have another one which i use for my dvr but this one that not it ain't working so because i wanted to have got try to get this uh, which is a terabyte as an external on my playstation 3 console and I'm not sure how big my PlayStation 3 I think my PlayStation 3 is uh, 120 gig or 320 I can't remember the bronze yeah. I've not even put any games on PlayStation 3 I've been more concentrating on the uh, Xbox right now because the Xbox cost me a lot more money than PlayStation 3 did so anyway I'll show you what I've got installed at the moment some of these games I'll be installing later like you know Front Knife Shield of War, uh, Dead Rising, I'm going to try and install. Um, definitely going to be installing that one. Probably during World War. Uh, don't need to install that one because I've already got it in that one. I'll try that one as well. Um, Mace Griffin. Uh, Prey, I'm not sure if I've got on there or not. Um, Bionic Commando, I'm going to try. Call of Duty Finest Hour, I'm going to try. Gears of War. That one I'm already installing at the moment. Can't install that one because that's not there. Uh, I've already got that one installed. So, two, four, seven discs I'm going to be installing. And if you want to see what games I've got on my Xbox at the moment. That one's just finished installing, I think. Right, so get my Xbox controller working. So, Alien insula Insulation, Battlefield 1943, Battlefield 2, Modern Combat, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Bad Company, Battlefield 1, uh, Resident Evil, Resolution 2, Blair Witch. Um, Boom Rocket, I don't know what that is. Uh, Brother in Arms, I'm trying to get the Brother in Arms collection as well. Um, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Infinite, Inf, Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty or Call of Duty Warzone. I'm not sure that's an original kind of Call of Duty. Not seen that one before. 
Call of Duty 3, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I've been trying to find Modern Warfare 2, but can I find it anywhere? CX doesn't have it. Um, the place I checked out today didn't have it. So I want to try to get Modern Warfare 2. I've got Modern Warfare Remastered. Uh, which I think that one is. I'm not sure. I can't be, remember the one. Yeah. Uh, Crackdown 1 and Crackdown 2. Daisy, which is the standalone. I was mucking around on this spell mental one last night and I just kept getting killed by zombies. Uh, Dead Space. Um, Dead by Daylight. Um, Dead Island Escape Dead Island. I have got a Dead Island one. But for some reason, it doesn't install, and it said it is backward compatible. Um, but I've got two Dead Islands, and both of them want installed, so what? I don't know. Um, the Evil Within, Far Cry 3, Far Cry, Car, Far Cry 2. Um, this is like feeding some fishy game. Um, Just Calls, Life is Strange. The Long Dark, Lexor, Mars, Warlog. I think that's more like a sci-fi kind of game. Sci-fi shoot 'em up. I'm not sure. Uh, Pac-Man. Having a little fun games with Pac-Man the other day. I think Pac-Man, Lexor, uh, Feeding, and um, Boom Rocket was on one disc it's like a little compilation on xbox um perfect dark zero pinball was a download i got free from you know the game pass S sniper elite four i want to get sniper elite one two and three as well hard copy if i can uh star trek online uh this one was already on the system what I do is click download and downloaded. I have actually got Battlefront as well, which I need to install. Um, Pinball Arcade. I, I love this game. If anyone's ever seen this game, it's really good. Go out hunting. I downloaded um, an extra DLC pack last night where I was in Africa, and twice I got eaten by a lion. <laughs> they just crept up on me, you know, you didn't even hear them until the last second, and you're trying to turn around and shoot them, and you're dead. So I'm going to be playing that again later on tonight. Uh, Division. Um, can't, yeah, I've got that one, but I was looking at Division 2 today, and I couldn't remember what one I had. And I didn't want to get um, it just in case I already got it, so now I know it's Division 2 I need. Uh, the Walking Dead. Um, you know, you can get these on Game Pass. Uh, so that's all I've got on there at the moment. There will be more games going on there eventually. Um, if I had these all on my main drive, the 500 gig hard drive, my hard drive will probably be filled within the next three or four games. So I'm actually running all my games. I'm installing on this little hard drive. Which is a 3.5 terabyte hard drive I found out in a skip. Well, uh, not skip, but um, it was in one of those, um, you know, dumpster tr bins, which I normally go and look around at uh, Pollard's Hill. I saw the cable sticking out, and, you know, it's USB, and I thought, oh, what's that connected to? And as I pulled it, fucking hard drive came out. I thought, whoa, hard drive, lovely. I didn't even know it was 3 gig a three terabyte until I got home. And when I was going through it, there's like weddings, funerals, birthdays, you know, all African black people. And I, I thought, I don't want to know it. You know, I'm just going to format it. So I formatted it and uh, I, it's now connected to my Xbox uh, One. And I'm putting all my games, every game I install, I install on the external hard drive. So if any time like, you know, Hopefully it will never will pack up on me, but the Xbox One packs up on me and let's hope it's a hard drive issue. Um, 
I won't lose all the games because they'd be on my external. I've only got a couple on the main ones, I think. Um, but I'll put most of them, like, you know, a good 90% of the games, which I've installed on external. And it runs perfect on external. So tomorrow, Friday, I'm going to sit indoors and I'm going to start going through some more of the Xbox games and seeing what ones are backward compatible. And install a few more games. Now, <clears throat> at one time when I used to do all the gaming on PC, I had loads of stuff on PC, but now I don't really think, you know, my PC is that compatible with, like, you know, the newer games. And some of the newer games are pretty good now. Um, you know, I've been watching some of the YouTube videos, you know, um, walkthroughs on games like, you know, Modern Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops, um, Battlefield and, you know, other kind of games. And to be honest, you know, I'm more of a shooting person. You know, I love, like, when I had it installed on a PC, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4, you know, I love those games. Then when Modern Warfare came out and uh, Modern Warfare 2 and, you know, uh, Black Ops, you know, and they had all them zombie uh, games in it. You know, they were great. But so I've got my Steam account. I've got my server still up and running, but I'm going to be closing my server down, uh, my Daisy one, because not many people are using it. And it's cost me, like, nearly £50 a month, uh, for £50 a quarter every three months, uh, every three weeks. Yeah, every three weeks. Um and that's for like the server and Infinity Star, so I'm not going to pay for it this time. Uh, I'm going to let it shut down. And I can always open it up again next year, maybe. I don't know yet. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like learn how to play the games with the console, um, you know, the pad. And I've never been able to play games properly with a pad, so it's given me that opportunity to learn about the pad playing. Um, when I was playing... Um, Daisy last night, I just could not figure out how to like get a bandage or rag and heal myself because I got whacked a few times by two zombies. I, I was able to like punch them out with my fist, but I'd bleed in that and I tried everything I could to actually bandage myself up. And just as I bandaged myself up, I died. So, you know, I've got to learn. About this, the only thing I do have arthritis in my hands as well, so this could be a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm gonna, I've actually ordered online um, a keypad, like I've got my Xbox 360, so I've ordered something similar to this one, but I'll also probably order a proper Xbox keypad, you know, like one of these, and then. That will help me with games as well. So I don't think I can really use these all that much. And, you know, I just can't get the grip of them properly. So anyway, um, that's it for now. Let me keep my receipts. Um, so put those in there. I think Call of Duty... Call of Duty 3 is installed, so I can take that out. I don't know if I, you know, the thing is, with discs, you sometimes have to put the disc in to play the game still. Because I, I I went to play a game last night, and it said, enter disc, and I thought, I can't be bothered fucking hunting the disc out, bothers for that. You know, I, I just, I, you know, started playing um, Call of the Wild. Um, and I, they've actually got two different versions of the Call of the Wild, actually. But they're bloody expensive. Um, you know, I've got like um, what was it called? Oh, I've got a game pass which I've paid for six months. Six months game pass from CD keys that cost me like thirty pound. So I can download a lot of content, you know, game wise. But after the six months, you can't play it unless you repay your six months again, you know, or even three months or whatever to continue playing the games. That's what I, I believe anyway. I could be wrong. Um, but I wanted to download Call of the Wild in the other version, um, which has got, like, the Q 
Cougar Cat, I think it's got on there. Because um, my one, uh, it's got like the reindeer, the bear. Well, I say reindeer, it's like, you know, the big deer with antlers. You know, it's got a bear and something else on it. Um, oh, the wild boar. And I just downloaded like DSL for that yesterday to play the uh, African um, version of it. You know, not African language. Well, you've got an African language talking character in here, but that one, you know, you got a bit more fun. You know, it's more open wilderness. You know, you've got um, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> got, well, I don't know about bears. You know, I don't know. They have bears in Africa, do they? But yeah, they've got like, you know, wildebeest and. You know, wild boar. Uh, I, I shot a wild boar yesterday, and the fucking thing ran at me and charged me, and near enough killed me. And he turned around, and started running, not to go chasing it, and followed the blood trail. I tell you, that game is really good. Um, the other one I got to say, like um, this one I'm talking about. There, yeah. they have got another one, and the other one's got like a cougar, and. Um, the deer in the middle, and I think it's got a bear. I, I can't remember to be honest with what's on there, but I want to get that one as well. But you know, to download, you're talking about 30 40 quid for it because you know it's not that old of a game, it's still practically new. And they've actually got another one called the, the Deer Hunter, and then they've got another one called the Hunter. So I want to download those because that's the kind of games I like, you know, it's like when I, I play like Call of Duty. Um, not Call of Duty. What is that game I'm playing? Daisy. When I'm playing Daisy mod, you know the uh, Armor Two mod. I just like going out hunting, you know, kind of thing. Especially when I was in the group, because I was the one who's going out hunting, supplying all the food, you know, for the group. And that's what's got me interested in playing, like you know, that kind of game. So I will probably play that again later on tonight after I've installed some more of these. So let's see if play works. Sometimes I have to clean the disc again because they are really shitty. Um, I'll just give them the spray with this, like spray stuff. And then I'll get the old wipe. Thing is, sometimes you can't see it because it's so, this light's so weird in here. Best of it's during the daytime cleaning up because it still leaves a little bit smears. But after using it, I use like a little bit of cotton wool, just make sure that there's no fibers on the thingy. Let's see if that works. I can't remember if oh, hang on. that did have a bit of fiber on it then. I'm not sure if play is backward compatible or not. That's more of a, like a sci-fi, futuristic kind of game, which I don't know if I'd probably get into, but, you know, if it works. Yeah, he's actually going to install that one. It says, uh, this game, you need to download a free update. Uh, it will take up 4.8 gigabyte space. So I'm just going to install whatever games I can, you know, on the Xbox and keep them... Um, no, keep the hard copies. I'll get duplicates. I'll, you know, sell them or swap them, you know, trade them or whatever. Um, I want to try to sell, you know, my duplicates so I can get the money back so I can buy more games. You know, I, I want to get some of the more recent up-to-date games. I did play a little bit of um, Star Trek the other day, but uh, I kind of got confused on what the hell I was doing, and that is uh, the Battlefront 2 game. You know, I should get Battlefront 1, actually. Uh, and go through, you know, I probably will actually buy the Star Wars games eventually, if I'm getting cheap enough. Um, you know, I love, I did like the movies. Uh, I preferred, the, like, when they first brought out the first original um, Star Wars movies, with Harrison Ford, you know. Um, after, like, you know, I think it was the third or fourth movie, that's when it started getting a little bit boring because like Harrison Ford wasn't in it. And I always like, you know, Harrison Ford in movies. 
I like these um, Indiana Jones movies, which I've got the box set off. So, um, you know, I'm just going to install it if I can. You know, I've only used 25% of a three terabyte hard drive at the moment. Um, you know, I'm going to try to fill at least half, three quarters of the way up. Um, and then I might try to get another hard drive and swap it over, um, get another like three terabyte, and just keep putting games on them. And anytime I want to play a game, all I've got to do is swap over the hard drive, depending on what game I want to play. So if I want to play The Hunter, and it's on hard drive one, I'll just bring that hard drive one, connect that in, and play it. If I've got another game I want to play later, it's on the other hard drive, then all I've got to do is swap over the hard drives. It's a lot easier that way. Because I don't, I, I think the maximum on the Xbox is two terabyte. I'm not sure to be honest with you, but I think it's two terabyte. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so that's it, guys. Um, tomorrow I'll be sorting out my Xbox games and seeing what ones are back on compatible. And you can find a list in that on. Um, Google, you just do uh, Xbox um, One backward compatible games. There's a few sites you can actually uh, go and check them out on. That one cost me four pound, four quid just for that old game. But it's games. I I don't think I've ever played this version. That's the thing, though. I played Call of Duty One, Call of Duty Two. In Call of Duty 4, they never done a Call of Duty 3 on PC that I know of. So I'm pretty glad I've got it on Xbox so I can actually run through this one. I always like doing a single player campaign. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any way of playing people you know, on a server or not, but we'll always find that out later. But I, I like playing the, you know, the single player first. And then if I want to play like multiplayer, then I do. No, it says it's on Xbox Live, so I'm pretty sure there are servers out there if there's any still around. But in just playing it a single player, you know, the co uh, was it called the um, I just said it, I can't remember what I said now. The campaign, just playing it, the, you know, the campaign. Oh, I'm happy with that, gives you enjoyment, fun, entertainment. Right, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to watch any Spaghetti Westerns tonight. All I could do if I want to, depends if I'll get bored with the Xbox, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, five Xbox, another five Xbox 360 games to install. Well, four Xbox, no, three Xbox 360 games to install. Two Xbox Ones, if they're compatible. And I've got the two Xbox One, and that one's definitely going on tonight, definitely. So I'm going to start playing that starting next week. So, and so I'm a bit kind of like clumsy with the, you know, I just can't get the hang of the controller. So I will probably look to see how much an actual keyboard costs uh, and try to play it like I used to play on the old um, PC kind of thing. But watching uh not sure when the next video up might be one saturday so i'm hoping to go to the car boot saturday i didn't go to the car boot yesterday i wanted to try to save me money so i can go to the charity shop and see if i'll get some more stuff at the charity shop cheaper um you know in the car boots you know i think the sellers are getting a bit greedy for the money you know some of the games are like, old games or even the new games i was asking like three four quid each you know more expensive you know, like CEX or a charity shop, you know, kind of thing. So um, I thought, no, nah, I'm going to stay at home, which I did do yesterday. And uh, Saturday I might go up if I've got any money to spend. But now I've spoken to a guy in the main charity shop I go to get my games. He said he's going to, like, try to bring whatever he can each week. So hopefully I might get a bundle of games each week. I told him consoles as well. Uh, you can get some consoles. I'll be interested in consoles, and I can like bundle them up and you know sell them and make a little bit of money back on them. And yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not here to be greedy. You know, I want to try to help out 
people you know. You can't get an Xbox 360 for like 15, 20 pounds and it's in working condition. Um, and I can get like a bundle of games. No, say like 10 games, 50p each for a fiver. If I can knock the whole kit out with a controller, the console, and 10 games for like 45, 50 quid, now that's not really asking a lot, is it really? But I don't think people are going to really bother with the older consoles now. There's going to be a lot more people interested in like the new PlayStation when it comes out and, you know, the uh, different versions of the PlayStation 5 that's coming out. So you might even see a lot more people get rid of their stuff, you know, their older consoles and actually trying to, like, um, buy them. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, so I've got to sort this out quickly. Remember what I've done with that. Because I've just put a, a return in for this. Because I can't get it working at all. It's not operating any devices I'll connect it to. I can't get the bloody plug yet now. There we go. So yeah, I bought this. It came today. And I tried connecting that hard drive to it. I tried powering that hard drive to it and it's not powering any of them up. So there's a fault with this definitely. And I tried changing the connector. This this ain't the original one. But I have got the original one down here somewhere. And that don't you know it just you know it lights up like it's supposed to. I'll put it on full whack, 12 volt, but it's not doing nothing. No, I won't even point it at 19 volt on full. I'll put 12, 15. Unless I'm putting too much power in, I'm probably going to blow them, but I can't see it. But I've got to try to buy another external hard drive as well, another 3 terabyte, but they're like... 40, 50 quid. That one I've got free, so I found that one. This one's only a terabyte, but it's only a USB 2. I need a USB 3 compatible for my Xbox. That will work on my PlayStation, but it won't work on the Xbox. Not the Xbox One anyway, because Xbox One is only USB 3 compatible. So otherwise, I've been using that one as well. Right, so keep saying, I'm going to go, and I'll catch you all later, guys. Uh, video might be up Saturday if I go to the car boot fair Saturday. I hope to go, because uh, the guy was going to try to get me a PSP for, like, 20 quid. Um, I saw him last Saturday, but he said he couldn't find any at the time. So hopefully I might pick up one of those again this Saturday, bundle it up with a few games and resell it probably. Um, I might even keep it and give it to my grandson actually because now he's getting a little bit older. You know, he's six years old, I think now. Five, six years old. Time's gone bloody quick. So I probably might give it to him. Might be a Christmas present or something, you know. Because now he's getting older. You know, I think he's getting more into like, you know, electronics, you know, like mobile phones. He's always playing with his mum's mobile phone. Um, I know I gave him a console. I can't remember what console I gave him. I think that was a, a PlayStation or an Xbox uh, several months ago with a bunch of games. Anyway, right, definitely catch you later. There might, be, as I said, there might be a video Saturday night. I don't know yet. It might because there might be two. I'll go to the car boot fair. Uh, when I get home, I'll do a quick unpacking showing you, you know, like a little review like I've been doing. Um, and then after that, I'll upload the actual car boot fair if I go. Right, see you later.